are here. We are ready to work out. We're in the first phase of the Goddess Booty Workout, the Lower Body Workout Program. It's the Emerald Phase. Today you're going to need a mat, your weights, a stability ball, and a bottle of water always. All right. We're going to be working with the weights today. I'm going to be showing you each exercise so you have the proper form and then you're going to go work out. Okay, so you're going to run through each circuit. You're going to do the first circuit. You're going to do it three times and then you're going to move on to circuit two. You're going to do that three times, move on to circuit three, three times, then you're done. I want you to get these workouts in three to four times a week. Definitely add some cardio on your days off. And if you want to throw in a little upper body, go check out my videos at Laura London 100 on YouTube for some other great videos. All right? Follow your nutrition plan. If you have any questions, send me an email at laura at lauralondonfitness.com. Now let's go work that booty. So our first exercise is a squat with, all right, we're going to take our weights, we're going to open up our feet, and we're going to put them a little bit wider than shoulder width. We're going to point those toes out a little bit. Let's put our weights up on our shoulder. I'm giving you a suggested amount of weight to use. If you need to start with no weight, start with no weight. If you need to bump your weight up, bump it up. The program is adjustable. So we're going to go down, feel that nice Booty squeeze, come up and squeeze, down and up. We want to keep looking forward, head up, chest out, shoulders back, up and down. Go down as far as you can go and come back up. We really don't want our knees overextended over our toes and we don't want to go down too far, okay? You're doing 20 and I'm going to the next exercise. Okay, the next exercise is a reverse lunge with the knee up. Remember, you've got two legs, so it's 20 on each side. We're going to be stepping back, coming up, knee up. Stepping back, knee up. That's it. These will get your cardio going too. All right? Keep it going, and I'll see you for the next exercise. Remember to switch legs. Okay, we're moving on to the next exercise in circuit one, and this is a plie squat with a booty squeeze at the end, all right? All right, here we go. We're going to put our feet out, toes pointing out. You want to grab a weight. You might want to make this one a little heavier because it's only one weight versus the two. I hold it between my fingers, and we go down. Our knees are going down over those toes. A nice squat. We're coming back up. And we're giving that booty a nice squeeze. I want you to make that mind-muscle connection. So take it down, bring it up. Okay, see how my torso is nice and straight? I'm not leaning over. Up and down. And if you want to make it a little more challenging, when you come up and squeeze, boop, go up on your tippy toes a little. All right? And again, you need to start with no weight and then keep bumping up your weight. For each set, that's great. You're doing these exercises for 20 reps, and you're going to be doing three sets. All right, let's move on. This is the last exercise in circuit one. It is a squat with a rear leg kickback. What I like to do, you can hold your weights by your side or up here, but we're going to squat down, kick back. Actually, let's put them up here. Squat down kick back, squat down, kick back. You've got 20, which is really 40. <laughs> if you want to do one leg at a time and then move on to the other, that's great. You can step these up and do them faster and get your cardio pumping, all right? And this is for that little muscle in the glutes. Right under here, we want to lift that up, all right? It's a very neglected muscle. We're going to be doing these exercises again in, circuit, um, in the third phase of the program. All right, so I want you to run through all those exercises one time. Then you're going to go back and do it again. And then you're really going to challenge yourself and do it for a third set. All right? All right, now we're moving on to circuit 
two and we're getting down on the ground. We're going to need our stability ball and your mat. I love pink, so mine are pink. You know when you like your exercise equipment? That actually helps too. Get ready. I like nice exercise clothes. It makes me feel good. You should always feel good. You're a goddess. All right. We're going to take that stability ball and we are going to put our heels on the ball. It's all about balance and challenging that core while we're working the booty. We're going to put our hands on the ground and we're going to lift the glutes up. We're rolling the ball in and we're rolling the ball out. Rolling it in, rolling it out, always keeping this up here, okay? Keep it up. If you need to make it a little easier, you can roll your feet out, make it a little harder, roll that ball farther away from you. So you're going to do your 20, and at the end, you're going to do 20 pulses like this. And really squeeze, engage those glutes. Feel them, girls. Come on. Feel them. That's it. All right, you finish that up. I'm going to show you the next exercise. Roll out on it. Okay, we're going to make sure our neck is supported by the ball, hands on hips, our feet are up wide, and we're going to dip down and squeeze up. Dip down, squeeze up. These are hip lifts. These are great to really focus on those glutes and that squeeze, squeeze them girls. That's it. If you want, you can even put a weight on here to make it a little more challenging. And if you want to bump it up a little, point your, your tippy toes up to the ceiling so your heels are on the mat and you're squeezing up. Okay? That's 20. And you know what I like at the end? 20 pulses. That's right. Really finish it off with some tight pulses. Awesome? Let's move on. All right, now we're going to do some rear leg lifts. We're going to put our abs on the ball, our hands out in front of us. First movement is just pulsing the leg up. Again, we're hitting the lower part of the glute muscle doing this, that underworked muscle. We're going to do 20, and then we're going to put our heel up to the ceiling, and we're going to do 20 up to the ceiling, all right? Really working those glutes. So again, 20 leg lifts, and then 20 pulses to the ceiling, and then go do it on the other side. And when you're done, sit back and give your glutes a nice stretch. I love the stability ball for stretching. All right, that was the last exercise in this circuit. Go do it two more times. And then this is the last exercise in circuit two. I call them doorbell squats. You'll see why. Sometimes I like to take a weight and put it behind my ball so it doesn't move, or you can put it up against the wall. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our legs wide. We're gonna sit down on that ball and come back down. It's like you're sitting on the couch, someone rang the doorbell. Oh, I'll go get it. Oh, no, you get it. I'll get it. Oh, no, you get it. So you're just going up and down. But you know when we're coming here, we're squeezing our pelvis forward to get that extra booty squeeze. It's all about the squeeze. I want you to be squeezing that booty when you're driving in your car. I want you to squeeze it when you're sitting at your desk. Wherever you are, movie theater, everyone else, they're eating popcorn, chocolate. You're just squeezing those glutes, getting that goddess booty. All right, let's move on. Circuit three. All right, here we are, circuit three is a little bit of abs. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lie down. We're gonna do heels to heaven. We're putting our heels up there to the sky and we're reaching up for 20, okay? Really squeeze when you're up here. It's not just reaching for those toes. I don't want you throwing the body. Nice, slow, controlled, squeeze it. You got the one when you're up there and squeeze it and squeeze it. Excellent. 20 of those. Let's go to the next exercise. It will be a crunch with your stability ball. So you're going to take that ball, if you can, 
Get them depending on how big it is. If not, I'll show you how to do it without the ball. Hands behind the head, and we're crunching up for 20. I really crunch it in, crunch it in, crunch it in, and squeeze it when you're there. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. If you're having a hard time with your stability ball, and then what I want you to do is the same movement, but I want you to keep your toes really close to your body. I don't want them out here. I want them here, squeezing and tapping and back up. Tap, back up, tap, back up for 20. And our last exercise is um, a Pilates move. It's called, oh, my hair's falling out, rolling like a ball. So we're gonna sit up here. We're gonna roll back and roll forward and keep our legs up. Roll back, roll forward, roll back, roll forward. Now if you're having a hard time with this, roll back and see if you can just come up. Roll back and come up. Whatever movement you can do, I want you to do 20 of them, okay? Great for the lower body. We're giving the booty a little break. You're gonna run through that circuit three times then you will be done for the day. All right, remember, three to four times a week, get in some extra cardio and feel those glutes, squeeze those glutes, work those glutes. All right, follow your meal plan. Send me an email if you have any questions. Let's work the glutes. Bye-bye.